Okay, in today's video, we're doing a help video in reference to a Multicam 3000 error message. This is the dreaded Chuck did not open error message. So if you're getting this on your keypad, listen up. The symptom is it goes to do a tool change and then just pauses right here on the top of the tool and will not change. And it's actually a much simpler fix than you'd think. So hopefully this video can save you thousands of dollars to fly out a technician to fix something that you can do yourself. Now the first thing I did was test my sensors. So it turns out one of my sensors was bad. Here's the part number. You can pause and zoom in on this part number. And you can get this part number uh, straight through Multicam. I actually went with PDS Colombo. They had a pretty good price on it and they shipped me one out very quickly. So here I'm measuring to make sure I can put the sensor back with the same amount of, of uh, sensor sticking out that I had on the original. And just kind of showing where that went in and how I accessed that. It's all right here on the top of the spindle on these PDS Columbo spindles. Um, this is where your sensors are for chuck open, chuck closed. We also have a PDF that can walk you through this step by step. But basically I took a butter knife or a screwdriver and you can put those on the sensor. If the light comes on and off when it senses the metal screwdriver, then you know it's good. Mine, the light didn't come on, so I knew that was the sensor that needed to be replaced. So the simplest thing is to check where your sensor's plugged in, take all the covers off and trace those wires down, and uh, make sure that you label those, you can label the new ones. Just make sure before you unplug anything that you've got some documentation, some photos, so you know where the new one plugs into. Simply route that through the machine, replace that sensor, and then we just make sure it's adjusted properly. And that's why I was measuring that screw length to make sure we, we got that in correctly. When it's all said and done, then you can just use the keypad shift five and that will cycle that plunger up and down and you can make sure those lights are coming on and off as they should be. I think in this final video we're gonna cut to now, you'll see me doing just that. Okay, now I've got the new sensor in place and run through the machine. We're gonna hit shift five. It's gonna ask me, are you sure you want to open? We're gonna say yes. And that plunger moves down and out of the way. So now on this S4 position sensor, um, I can check. It's now moved down to that other sensor position. So really all that plunger is doing, it's a disc of metal that moves up and down. And here you can see, if I zoom in a little bit better, you can see the light. It's hard to see at this angle. So let me zoom in a little bit. And then we'll try that again with that screwdriver. There you go. You can see as soon as it gets near the metal, the sensor turns on. When the metal's gone, sensor goes off. So then it's just a matter of getting that plunger close enough that you don't touch it or you can damage it, but that it'll, it'll cause that sensor to turn on. And then the machine will see that the uh, plunger is in position. That means the chuck is open or closed and it knows when it's open and closed, that'll allow you to do the tool change properly. So that was really all it was, is replacing the sensor, making sure it was working, and then, and then just wiring that through this E-chain and back to the uh, position on that uh, wiring board, just matching the numbers up. And again, if you wanna label those so you know for next time where they're at, then you're good to go. Now we can button this up and do tool changes without any interruptions. Thanks for watching, hope this helps.